because I have my special guest this morning is Heather Koff. She is of the Koff Group Realtors. And uh, I also have Andy Clark, who is in charge of events and communications at Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big job, my friend. I do. <laughs> so what's the, what's the Realtor with Heart all about? Well, Realtors with Heart is the first ever philanthropic committee within the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors. And what we're doing as a committee is our mission is trying to make Greater Cincinnati a more heart-safe city. Our goal is to help with CPR training, AED placements in the community. Okay, we're throwing some initials around. Yes, some absolutely. people don't know what CPR is. Sure. CPR is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So it's when you try to bring someone back to life if they have sudden cardiac Ooh. arrest. Um, AEDs, those are the machines that are automated external defibrillators and it's kind of what you see on the TV shows when they put the paddles on and they have they say clear absolutely and, and, and they absolutely. jump five feet off the table <laughs> <laughs> does that really happen not necessarily they do jump a little bit okay but they do have portable ones that we are trying to get out in the community and that's part of what our committee does we help to train people with CPR we help to get AEDs out in the community and we are working on advocacy to have legislation so that AEDs are required in public buildings. Right. Um, the committee, uh, Realtors with Heart, have been responsible for placing four AEDs in the Cincinnati area already. Absolutely. With the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors, the Realtor with Heart Committee, in 2012, we donated one to the Aronoff Center, and okay. that was right before the World Choir Game. So it was an excellent opportunity to have that available when we had so many people visiting our city. Uh, back in 2013, we donated one to Finley Market, um, which again, as you know, many people know, thousands and thousands of people go through there every weekend um, and throughout the week. And then this past year in 2014, we were able to raise enough funds to be able to donate two AED machines to the Cincinnati Park Board. One was donated to the Crone Conservatory, and we presented that on December 22nd, right before the holidays. And the second one will be placed at the Carol Ann Carousel, which is down on the banks. Mm. And once that building mm. is complete this spring, the AED machine will be up there. Wow. So we have only four so far in, in the Cincinnati area in public places? Four that we have donated. Okay. Now, there are other offices and buildings that have them, but clearly not enough. Do we know where they are located? Well, that's part of the goal of one of the things that Andy has been working on with the AED, AED link system. Okay. We might be able to talk a little bit more about, about that later on in the show. Right, right. Absolutely. 